See, it probably looks like I'm just jogging in the woods. Well, I'm in my backyard. And ever since I got into the game of golf about seven years ago, I've always been obsessed with the idea to bring some aspect of golf to my backyard. I mean, sure, we see the pros on tour, they have their own golf courses in their backyard. Guys like Tiger Woods have three holes. Guys like Ricky Fowler, I mean, you name it, they have it. I want it, I wanna build it. This is where I'm gonna build it. I estimate this project to take about six weeks. It's already the middle of July in 2018. Let's see how fast these guys can work. They're gonna be breaking ground pretty soon, so I'm super excited. So, basic idea right now is to eliminate all of this, take out all of those trees, regrade the entire backyard so that it's not coming down as a hill here. You can probably see it all the way back by the fence. So make it all flat. I'd love to have this just be extended uh, lawn, a um, place that maybe I could chip onto a putting green that'll be in the middle. And then behind the putting green, you know, maybe like a nice area for people to hang out with a fire pit and a place for people to have some cocktails and have that country club type of feel. And all the, all the trees you see here behind me that are marked with red tape will be coming down. We have one particular tree that is uh, actually uh, extremely big, which is this one right here. But the good news is, is that none of it provides any type of privacy for me. Uh, hopefully we can get moving soon. All right, so these guys have been here for about an hour and a half now. They got a lot done so far. About three trees down, big one's still here. They told me I gotta stand back. So the trees are out. Here's the bad news. Probably not gonna start for three weeks. Gotta go through town, planning, zoning, permits, approvals, things like that. Anytime you're digging, shaking up the ground, I guess you gotta get some approval for it, but that's fine. I think we're gonna be locked and loaded and all finished before the end of the summer. Okay, it's August 20th. We finally broke ground. They dug up a lot of big rocks. Let's go take a look. All right, so these were just some of the rocks that I was going to try to take out myself before calling in the professionals. Yeah, okay. All right, the supplies have arrived. Let's check them out. That's the rock wall. This is all gonna be going underneath the patio as well as the putting green. All right, the guys have been in my house now for a few days. Um, got a lot done, check it out. This is where the patio is gonna go. Gonna put some privacy trees up here. Right here in this section is where the putting green is gonna go. 
and back by the wall will be sand trap right about here. All right, I have been away on family vacation for about eight or nine days. So I have not been home, have not been supervising or watching the project, but after coming home, here's where we're up to. So all this has been cleared out. This is gonna become lawn extended up from here. We're gonna put a playground up in here and then an area of just straight grass. As we head down over to the golf area, this area here is going to be the putting green and a little sand trap is gonna go somewhere either in the front or in the back corner, we have not decided yet. And then we're working on the patio. They just laid down this stuff, getting there. So, you know, all day while I'm working, I could see these guys out there were just going for it. <laughs> I'm like spying on them. All right, let's go out there and check it out. sitting in the spot for where the putting green will be going. This is the brick wall um, that, I don't know, change of plans, I guess. You know, anytime you're working with slopes, you've got to make sure that you build some type of retaining wall. We don't want dirt falling on the putting green, so change of plans here. Not quite sure how it's going to work out. A little nervous about it, but let's see. Okay, no work today because it's a complete washout. Rainy little Monday here in New Jersey. Big storms coming through, so I don't know if these guys are gonna get to work at all over the next couple days. But today, the rain did not stop the materials from arriving for underneath the green. So that means we're gonna be starting the big project really soon. All right, big day today. The sprinkler guy came here with his crew. They put down seven new sprinkler lines. So anytime you're planting any trees and shrubs, we're gonna need more water, right? I'm not gonna stand up there every day with a hose. That would be pretty ridiculous. So um, those are in, those are done. The guys are gonna come back now and finish the rest of the project. Pretty soon we start the putting green any day now and uh, the planting. So we're getting close. So close yet, so far. This is Never easy putting those kids on the bus. A lot of the supplies are dwindling down, which means that we're coming to the end of this project, finally. Uh, we're almost in October here, but yesterday we were very happy to see the arrival of the putting green, which is in these two or three large rolled spools here from Sin Lawn. Uh, we have a full uh, turf putting green as well as the fringe, about one to two feet of fringe that's gonna go around it. So there's, uh, some materials there as well as these materials over here. I don't really know what any of this stuff is, but we know that the green is here. Uh, we hit a couple of snags, lots of rain in the last few weeks, uh, which sidelined the project for you know days after days. So we're at the finish line. We got the plants going in this week. We got the putting green starting this week, and then all those finishing touches. Hopefully uh, over the next couple uh, days after that. So.
All right, October 5th. That's bunker sand. Oh yeah, bunker sand is here. The remaining rocks are here. Putting green is in. Let's go take a look. It is finally over. It's October 15th. It did take a while, but we are done. My dream backyard project is complete. I wanna show it to you, but I wanna show this to you from the air. So let's roll these drone clips. so much fun throughout this whole project. I didn't really get my hands dirty. I was just supervising the guys doing it. But you let me know in the comments below, what does your dream backyard look like? I'd love to hear about it. And don't worry guys, I know a lot of you were saying, how are you gonna keep that thing all pristine and clean throughout the off season? Don't worry, I've got that covered. This caddy gig is a life sentence. <laughs> 